What's up everybody? So as you guys know by now, the OG OnePlus Nord won't get Android 13 officially. But that does not mean we cannot try Android 13 on the OnePlus Nord. And now we have a new ROM to try out, that is this Android 13 based Zephyrus OS. Anyways, before we get into all the details, please make sure you tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon if you haven't already. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. First up, this is an unofficial version for now. So as usual, please don't expect any OT updates and any new updates will have to be flashed manually on this one. Plus, it might have some minor bugs here and there. Let me start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the device scores as high as 609 in single core and 1690 in the multi-core score, which is decent enough. Now starting off with the launcher and UI, which is again pure stock Android. And the launcher does have support for material UI icons, especially with third-party apps. Plus, we have a lot more wallpaper colors to choose from and a ton of basic colors as well, which gives you more control over the UI. The lock screen and fingerprint scanner look similar to Android 12, but the unlocking animation is a bit different here. We also have the fast face unlock with this one, and that works like a charm. And so does the fingerprint scanner, and is quite fast and responsive like before. We also get the new music widget on the lock screen with this perm animation, which looks really cool and clean to be honest. The launcher that we get here as expected is a pixel launcher, and that looks clean and minimal and works very well on the 90Hz refresh rate. And all the Pixel series feature work here as well, like the unlimited photos backup, and you can also force 90Hz out of the box, which is quite good. Also don't expect OnePlus dialer and contacts to work here, but the true phone application works just fine for auto call recording. And here is a card to that video just in case you want. Plus it also passes safety net, which means that Google Pay works just fine, and other payment apps too. And the DRM level here is by one L3, so Netflix and all will work in 480p. By the way, we also have the Dolby Atmos here, and yes, it works just fine overall. Yes, it did improve the audio quality a bit while listening to the music and such. We also get the OnePlus camera app inbuilt here, and the Gcam mod also works fine with all the cameras. And you can find links to all that just below the like button. Other than that, you might not see a dedicated customization center here, but it still has most of the required features, like network speed indicators, edge lighting, and even the battery styles to choose from. Also, there are a bunch of font options available, approx 40, and you can basically customize quite a bit here. You also have the features like three finger screenshots and other standard Android 13 features, like the new clipboard and more. Apart from that, we do not have a gaming mode from Pixel phones. But we do have an inbuilt FPS counter here to keep a track of those frame rates, and the gamer in you will appreciate this, of course. I did try some light games like Altos Odyssey and Asphalt 9 and faced no issues whatsoever with them. However, BGMI is not there on the Play Store, so I did not make the effort to test it out either. Apart from that, the battery life was not the best, I would say. I could see around 5 hours of screen on time on a single charge which is not the best and the idle drain is also on the higher side sometimes. But for what it's worth, the charging time is still close to 1 hour only. So this room does bring the taste of Android 13 to the OnePlus Nord, which it will not get officially. But anyways for the first version, it seems pretty nice and apart from the battery life, it's all quite good. Anyways now let's see how you can install this version on your OnePlus Nord. So the process to install this one is very simple. Just follow me and don't miss out on any step. By the way, before starting the flashing process, make sure you take a backup and also that you are on Oxynos 11. If you are on Oxynos 12, then do roll back and here is a card to that video as well. First up, you need an unlocked bootloader to install it. And if you haven't done it, just enable the unlocked bootloader option in developer options in your settings. After that, you have to download the zip file from the link in the description area and that contains your driver, image file and the room zip file as well. So now right click on it and extract this zip file that contains your room and recovery both. In short, the bigger zip file is your room and the image file is your recovery and you need the recovery to flash the room, as simple as that. Also if any update for this room comes, then just download the new zip file and paste it in this folder and follow the rest of the steps from here. 
So once this step is done, now it's time to connect your device in fast food mode with your PC. To do that, just turn off your device. Now long press volume up, down and power key at the same time for like 4 or 5 seconds till you see this fast food mode screen on your device. Now your device is ready. Just open the ROM folder that we downloaded in the first place and now type CMD in the address bar on the same screen and press the enter button. Now this will open a command prompt screen. Now here type fastboot space devices and this will show some number. If it does then your device is connected just fine. If it doesn't then you have missed out on something above so restart the process. Also if the bootloader of your device is unlocked then you can skip this step. Else just open the command prompt and type fastboot space oem space unlock and hit the enter key. Now the device will ask you if you wish to unlock the bootloader or not. So use the power key and select yes and this will unlock your device. After this reboot your device in the fast suit mode again by pressing volume up down and power key at the same time and connect it to your PC. Now open the same command prompt screen in your PC and type fast boot space boot space recovery dot img and after this just press the enter key and your device will reboot into the recovery mode now. Well done. Now just tap on this apply upgrade button on your screen and tap apply from adb. And now for the last step in this process. Open cmd once again and type adb space sideload space and now drag and drop the zip file on cmd and press the enter key. Or you can just type the name like adb space sideload space name of the zip file of the rom and press the enter key. Now this will start installing the rom on your device and it will be done in a few minutes. So leave it alone till it completes. And once it's done, you can disconnect your device, click on this back button now and select this format data or factory reset option on your device. Now click on format and this will wipe your internal storage. So once it's done, you are all set. And now just tap on the back button and click on this reboot to system option and you're good to go. So your device will now reboot to Android 13 on this Proton OS ROM. And I hope that was simple enough. But if you still have any doubts, then I'll drop a link to the Telegram community in the description area. And you can get your issues resolved over there. So this was a short way to flash Android 13 based Cephyrus OS ROM on your OnePlus Nord. And if you do end up liking this video, make sure to press that like button and tap on that subscribe button for more videos like this one in future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.